Welcome back to IASDAC. In this video, you will learn how to save your data in the local storage by using your Angular project. It is very easy and really simple. So let's do that. Right now, you can see I have a very simple Angular project running in my local server. So I want to create a button so that if user clicks on that button, it should save the data in my local storage. For that, I'm going to create a button. So you can see the, uh, this is the button that we would use for the click event. And as soon as a user clicks on that event, we will save the data in the local storage. So I will also show you how to see the data stored in the local storage in your browser. O open the inspect element and go to the application and click on the local storage arrow. And here, this is the URL or website URL of your application. Right now, you can see that there is no local storage saved yet. Now, I'm going to create an event. Save data. Now uh, we need to create this function in the component save data and here I'm going to create the data that I want to save. So in the local storage, you can save any kind of data. Uh, you can save. Uh, so actually you can save only string, but uh, if you want to save object in the local storage, you have to convert that object into the string because in the local storage, you have to have a string that would be saved in the local storage. So in case if you want to save object, so let's see how we can do that. For example, I have object ID one name X, Y, Z, and now you want to save it for that. First of all, use local storage dot set item so with the function set item you can save any data in the local storage now you need to convert this object into the string for that type json dot stringify data and uh, there should be two parameters for the set item first parameter would be the name of the uh, data that you are going to save and the second parameter would be the data that you will be saved so you will be saving in the local storage so here i would say session you can name it whatever you want and now let's see if that saves the data in the local storage or not now i'm going to click on the save data and we would notice that this object would appear in the string format in this area you can see that as soon as i clicked on this button that session has been saved in the local storage and you can access it from the inspect element now if you want to access the, this local storage item in your ui that is also very easy for example suppose you have a session variable And based on that, you want to display some data from that variable. Okay. At this time, this would fail uh, with the errors because uh, the session variable does not, uh, it is undefined because we did not uh, assign any value to this variable yet. So that's why you would notice that there are errors. But we should uh, hide this div uh, based on the ng if condition. It should be visible only if session variable is defined. Now there are no errors. Now I am going to create another button that would say load recover data or load data. And in this 
I am going to recover the data from the local storage. Now, to get data from the local storage, it is very simple. To get that, just type local storage dot get item and pass the name of the uh, item that you want to retrieve from the local storage and that's it. For now, I want to alert it to see what is in that variable. You can see that uh, it, I have a string saved in that session in that local storage as you know that we have saved the data in the form of the string that is why whenever you want to get it back you would get in the form of the string and now if you want to save in the session variable and uh, you know that it has to be in the json format for that you have to pass it back to the json from that string for that type this dot session is equal to json dot pass and data this would pass this string into the json format and as soon as this variable is uh, this variable gets the value it would show this div element for you so let's see you can see that i uh, i clicked on the load data and uh, it is now showing the id and name from the local storage Suppose you want to change something in the local storage. Uh, for now, I am going to change the local storage value manually, manually from here, so that you could see that if I click on the load data, it would uh, show the updated result from the local storage. So I have updated the local storage. Now, if I click on the load data, you would see that name would be replaced with the new name that is available in the local storage. So that's all I wanted to show you in this video. I hope this video would be helpful for you in any way. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the bell icon. Bye.